All right, we are back for another 31 days of Halloween ranked countdown, and we are down to number 23, which you've already seen the background on there. You can already take a guess as to what it is. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and go over this real quick. Just want to say everyone's entitled to their opinions. I am definitely entitled to mine as well. That being said, if uh, something doesn't match up with what you like on here or whatever, so be it. Everyone has their opinion. If you want to have a discussion about it, let's do this. If you want to comment about it, let's do that. If you want to troll about it, let's not do that. That being said, let's have some fun. This is the spooky season. It's time for fun. So we're moving into rank countdown number 23, which is Alien. And this is the franchise, not just the, the one movie. Now, first thing you're going to ask is, why the hell would this be that low on the list? That's because later parts of the franchise didn't live up to what it should have done and really let me down in that, so it kind of really fell off the ladder that way. If they just stuck with one and two, it's way up there. Iconic, uh, epic. I don't even know what other massive words to use on this thing. The catchphrase the the one that was you know the marketing phrase for alien whenever it first came out simple in space no one can hear you scream i mean it's right there that that's like perfect marketing for this particular movie in this in this series with this so you not only take something as terrifying as an alien organism uh, that, for one, uh, is in an egg-shaped thing that pops open that is called a face hugger for a reason because it gets up on there and then the tail goes around your neck and stays on there and shoves this thing down your throat uh, and makes you take it. So, yes, there's that. Impregnates you. Anyone ever blow the rape whistle on these things? Just saying. Anyway. And then it pops. It's a chest burster. You never look at eating spaghetti the same way again after watching the guy in the in the, in the mess hall there. They call it a mess hall for a reason after that. Chest burster come out of there, and that little guy was angry and ornery as all get out. And they couldn't even catch a little warm guy. Got away. And it was within hours, grew up into this massive thing that we saw on, on the beginning screen there. It just gets worse. However, we have the hero of the entire saga. The baddest bitch in the movies. Oh, come on. Fight me on this one. Tell me there's someone better. Just do it. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. Let's do this in the comments. Have some some backup on that though to make sure that you're you know you get the right stories and everything. But I'm telling you right now, Ripley, baddest bitch in the in the movies, just hands down. And that was even the tagline for Aliens 2 was the bitch is back. So this is one of those rare movie sagas where one was so phenomenal, and then two came out and two was like holy crap, they actually surpassed one on this. It doesn't happen very often, but this is one of those. Number 23, Alien. If you haven't seen it, I don't know how that's possible, actually. But if you haven't, definitely, 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 definitely get your copy and, and watch that. I actually have my special editions now, granted, they're on DVDs, but special edition box set that uh, was very limited edition, apparently. And uh, most all of my DVD stuff, I've always thrown away the boxes uh, and kept the DVDs loose. This particular one, for some reason, I decided to go ahead and keep the box set. Uh, it just looked pretty cool. Didn't realize how much value it had to it. <laughs> oh, yes. So that being said, Aliens, number 23 on this. Don't miss out drop daily daily 31 days of halloween rank countdown going down from 31 all the way to my number one of the halloween movies or halloween style movies should i say and uh got some interesting finds in here i don't i didn't go with the cookie cutter style things 
for the most part. Again, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're, you're feeling on this series and how I'm doing with this. Let me know if there's some other ones you think should be on the list that haven't made it as of yet, and we'll see if they get there. Um, and then have a great time with it. Other than that, all I got to say is keep doing what you're doing. Keep out there. Keep watching the horror movies. Keep them going. And remember, all eyes are on you this holiday season.